Rocket covers are off. Front one, nice and golden brown. Rear one, jet black and dirty. And the PCV valve on this one, I did test. Um, and I could blow through it nice and easily. It was uh, it was not jammed or blocked or anything. So, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, this one was able to breathe quite well. The There was a little bit of misinformation on some of this stuff. Uh, so this is the front rocker. Um, so you've got a breather valve on the front there, which you can't see here. So it goes into a chamber, which is behind this plate, which is riveted on. And the gases actually go through these three little tabs. And that's where the gases go in and then round. The rear cover, um, there's only one little tab as far as I could see. It's this one here. Uh, and the plate is only half the size. doesn't go the rest of the way. And obviously there is a little hole on the end. Just up there. So a quick video to show what I've been doing with modifying the breather system on the 2.8 V6. So on the front bank of the engine we have like a, a plastic valve and a piece of pipe which goes straight in the turbo. So this front bank can breathe nice and easily. The rear bank however doesn't really get that much um, of a privilege of doing that. So it has a, a PCV valve um, here. So this pushes into the rocker cover at the back of the engine. Um, it's a bit hard to actually see down there. Um, and inside of here is actually a little valve mechanism and two little rubbers and diaphragms. I cut one open to inspect inside. Um, this pipe here connects onto uh, a vacuum pipe, which is the long one, the big spaghetti one at the back of the engine. And then you have an additional pipe here, which connects onto the inlet manifold. And the inlet manifold will connect there. And there's a one-way valve here as well. So the way it works is when you have a um under certain driving conditions the valve will open and allow the engine to breathe but then when you're boosting under under boost pressure it won't be able to breathe so yeah it's, it's, it's not ideal so we're just sort of changing the system a little bit so i've got this one off we've chunked it thrown it in the bin so i've made up a couple of little things so this one here i believe was a 10 millimeter silicon blank and a nice little clip so i'll put that straight on the end of the uh, original one-way valve um, cut the plastic pipe off and that's a nice easy little fix the pipe down the back of the engine the spaghetti pipe I got hold of a Bundy connector um, just trying to remember I can't even remember where it was from it was off elsewhere on the engine um, but again um, I think it was actually off of um, it might have been off of here yeah it might have been one of those um, but yeah, that one there just clicks in. There's a nice little, it's a fuel pipe Bundy connector and it with a blank on the end. So I've, in doing so, we've now deleted this piece out of the engine. So obviously we've got to work back from there to build a new system, which I have done on this vehicle. It's a bit hard to see. So we've got AN6 rubber hose. Um, I've got a 10 millimetre bar, uh, 10 millimetre brass straight pushing union. So I actually pushed a piece of the AN6 hose inside of the rocker and then pushed the brass union in. And I mean, it was tight and that ain't coming out. And it's much tighter than the original fitting, which was plastic and broke anyway. So very, very happy with that. These do have to, have, well, ideally have a one way valve in. So I reused from a couple of old scrap engines those two one way valves that are there. I've. Um, put on the, uh, a one-way valve on the system here. That pipe now runs along where the SAI system was once upon a time. And then I've done the same with the front rocker, put on a piece of pipe and a union inside, which makes it nice and tight, can't pull it out. Uh, again, I've put a one-way valve on there. These two will be sleeved together. I've got some nice um, material anti-chafe sleeve. Yeah, here's the finished result of the uh, breather modification. So, uh, got one way valve there. That's the pipe back from the head of the uh, catch can. There's two pipes which loop around underneath here. Let's whip the cover off. There's the catch can there, just bolts into the slam panel. Got one pipe there, one pipe there, and then that's the outlet there once it's been filtered.